Justin Trudeau gave Bell Media and other media tax dollars supposedly to protect media jobs. And then what happened? They all got laid off. So there's Justin Trudeau has doubled housing costs. He's doubled the rent, doubled mortgage payments, doubled the needed down payment for the average home. After eight years of Trudeau, you now have to save 25 years for a down payment on a home in Toronto when you used to be able to pay off an entire mortgage in that time. After eight years, young women wonder if they'll ever be able to have kids because they're stuck in their parents' basements until their early 40s, when under the previous government, the average age of buying a home was 29. After eight years of Justin Trudeau, criminal defense lawyers tell us that their convict clients are asking to stay in jail so they don't have to go out and find a place to rent because prison is better than Justin Trudeau's housing market. After eight years of Trudeau, a record-smashing two million people line up at food banks every single month in scenes that are reminiscent of the Great Depression. After eight years of Trudeau, there are now 30 homeless encampments in Halifax alone, some scenes that were unimaginable only eight years ago. After eight years of Trudeau, violent crime has exploded by 40% at least and growing quickly. We see a record-smashing increase in extortions and other serious crimes. And, a and after eight years of Justin Trudeau, while you can't pay your bills, where you can't afford a home, He's taken 60 million of your tax dollars and given it to a corrupt app, a rive scam, that doesn't work, that we didn't need, and that went 750 times over budget. Think of that the next time you go to the grocery store and you look at the cost of the food and that bill is too high for you to pay. Think of it the next time you look at his carbon tax, which he's quadrupling, on your heating bill and you wonder if you'll be able to keep the heat on for the rest of the winter. He took 60 million of your dollars and put it into this Arrive scam. Think of that when you see homeless people who can't afford a place to live, that Justin Trudeau took their money for this Arrive scam app. Common sense conservatives told him not to do Arrive scam, but he went ahead anyway. What were the results of that decision? Well, we now know the results. Arrive scam costs at least, at least $60 million, 750 times over budget. $12 million could be unrelated to Arrive Can altogether, even though it was paid out for that purpose. Money given to GC Strategies, we were told this, it was $9 million, then it became $13 million, and now they say it was $19 million. 18% of the invoices were submitted by contractors who lacked information to determine if expenses related to or were related to arrive can. GC strategists were involved in writing the, requ the requirements for the very contract that they would win and profit from. Initial documentation leading to GC strategies first $2.3 million contract is missing. Average per diem cost, this is per person per day, were $1,900, far higher than the normal and still exorbitant $675 per person per day the Trudeau government normally throws out the window. 10,000 travelers were wrongly quarantined by Trudeau's Arrive Scam app. Single mothers who couldn't go to work because they got notice that they had to be quarantined. They weren't able to pay for the, their children's food because their wage was cancelled by an app that locked them in their home, unable to work, and wrongly and unjustifiably so. No evidence to show CBSA employees complied with the Code of Conduct. In fact, they were invited to whiskey tasting and other luxurious treats from the very contractors that they were paying your money to. And page 18, sub subcontractors did not have the property security clearances, so Trudeau put your private information at risk. While Trudeau says he doesn't have enough money to scan those shipping containers that are taking your car that's been stolen and sending it off to the rest of the world, the very same department that is responsible for our borders and our ports took $60 million or more for the Arrive scam. More proof that after eight years, Trudeau is not worth the cost, he's not worth the crime, he's not worth the corruption. That's why we need a common sense conservative government that will slash the waste and end the corruption, that will respect your tax dollars, 
We will cap spending and cut waste to balance the budget and bring down inflation and interest rates. We will axe the carbon tax to lower your food, gas, and heating bills. We will lower income tax so hard work pays off again. We'll clear away the bureaucracy and taxes to build more homes. We'll bring jail and not bail for repeat violent offenders. And we will secure our borders, including our ports, to keep the drug dealers and smugglers from bringing drugs in and car thieves from taking your vehicles out. We will restore the common sense of the common people united for our common home with a clear agenda to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, stop the crime, axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, stop the crime. It's common sense. Let's bring it home. Why did your party want to grant over $100 million in regulatory relief to the mainstream media? We don't want to give uh, any tax dollars to the mainstream media. We, our belief is that the mainstream media and all... Do you decision then, uh, your party's decision uh, to grant regulatory okay. relief? So I'll, I'll answer your question. The media that is bought and paid for... Which, where are you from, by the way? Which, which outlet are you in? Which outlet? Which outlet? Canadian Press. Ah, okay. Canadian Press. So you're talking about tax dollars for media. Is, isn't CBC right, your biggest... Know, isn't, no, I, I can answer... Yeah, and Why you want to answer? Do you want to grant $100 million in Sorry. regulatory relief to the mainstream media? When would you like me to respond? Okay, good. Okay, great. So, of course, you are a tax funded media outlet and uh, spreading Justin Trudeau's message. Why did you and, 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 and so you're, you're, you're interrupting me again. Well, you're interrupting me again. I am answering the Why question. Do you, do you regret That's granting $100 million in regulatory relief? to the mainstream media, including Your question Valve. is false, so if you can allow me to correct your falsehoods, then we can, we can answer the question directly. So, false. Canadian Conservatives do not believe in giving tax dollars to media outlets. That's Justin Trudeau. That. That's so Justin you, Trudeau. You That's Justin Trudeau. Okay, if you, if, you, if you don't want me to answer the question, I'll move on to someone else. You're, you're, a, tax, you're a tax-funded mouthpiece to the PMO. That's the reality. So, the question answered. You committed I'm to trying to. to answer the question. I'm trying to, but you're heckling. Are you, going, are you going to let me answer the question, or are you just going to heckle on behalf of Justin Trudeau? Which is it? I would love the answer. Great. So our, our party does not support tax dollars for media outlets, because that's when we end up with biased media like you, who come here and articulate the PMO talking points, rather than delivering real news to the Canadian people. Justin Trudeau gave Bell Media and other media tax dollars, supposedly, to protect media jobs. And then what happened? They all got laid off. So that, so that the supposed justification for giving, for giving Bell all this money was that it was going to save media jobs. Well, they all got fired. So I guess that wasn't the real reason for giving tax dollars to the media. The real reason was for him to buy support from the media, which is what it actually did. So we believe that media should be driven by readership, viewership, and listenership. And that's what allows it to, to represent the Canadian people rather than taking marching orders from the PMO. Excuse me. Mais pourquoi est-ce que la si il y a de la corruption? Vous believe that the civil service should be able to do more of its own IT work. And if that's the case, when you're prime minister, how will you make that happen given that you're looking at cuts? The answer is yes, and we'll make it happen because we're going to cut back on the outside consultants. So these two things are not in opposition. They are in concurrence. We want to cut back on outside consultants because public servants do the work more accountably and they do it more affordably. We know that because public servants don't cost $1,090 a day. They cost significantly less than that. So we're going to save money by reversing Trudeau's doubling of outside consulting fees. Thank you. Found that the civil service didn't have the skills to do this kind of work. So wouldn't you need to train them and wouldn't that cost money, Wait, sir? There were contractors involved in Phoenix as well. Sir, I'd, I'd like to understand what you will do when you are prime minister, sir. This, the Auditor General found that the civil service didn't have these skills. Why is it that the public service doesn't have these skills? It's insane. We've increased the size of the public service by 50% under Justin Trudeau. And none of those 100,000 extra people have the skills to design an app that a couple of IT workers separately and as a joke designed in a single weekend. How is it possible that a couple of guys got a stack of pizza boxes and a case of beer and as a, a joke redesigned the ArriveCan app from scratch in a weekend? And yet we can and yet and yet the hundred thousand public servants Trudeau hired cannot do the very same thing. That points to the fact that 
he is an incompetent prime minister who is wasting our money. He's not worth the cost. Last general on the issue of the police investigation, she says in the report that the parts that are already under internal investigation, either by the CBSA or the RCMP, she didn't want to interfere in that, so she didn't go down that road. Are you concerned that that's missing from today's report? I am, yes, very much so. And that, and that might be one of the reasons why uh, the Auditor General didn't use the same language as I did, is because certain parts of the scandal are not covered in this audit. We need the police to get to the bottom of it. I know that there are certain parts of this that are already under police investigation, uh, and uh, we want the truth to come out, and we want the police's findings to be complete and public so that Canadians know about all the corruption and mismanagement in the Trudeau government. Mr.